This is the thermostat I tried to install, the Honeywell Wi-Fi. I got it from Costco and it's the source of all my problems. Before my heater was working, after I installed it, I switched the wires. Uh, G, G wire for fan for C and after that it didn't work. And so I had to basically go to the heater and look what's going on. Went through a lot of trials and tribulations and then identify hopefully that the gas valve right here is the issue and I had a hard time trying to remove the the pipes uh, on each one because they've been there for like over 15 years um, and so basically I used pipe wrenches which I found out on YouTube and use the leverage here uh, so that I don't damage the other pipes um, yeah, using two wrench and to un, un uh, unfold it, unthread it. I finally got it apart. I bought a new part. My brand is Carrier 58 PAV, and this is the newest part. Where is that? That's the oldest one. eBay sells a lot of old ones. I don't see the point of buying that because you might have to go through this headache again. So I bought the latest replacement part, which I found, and hopefully this will work. I went through a whole series of tests on the, if it's a circuit board. Uh, doesn't seem like it is. I, I tested using a multimeter uh, to make sure that the uh, 24 volts is going through the gas pipes. I even knocked on it. A lot of people say you can knock on it. I checked that the main gas valve was okay. And I did that. And right now it's shut off. And so I'm about to reinstall all the stuff. They said to clean the threading of the old pipe residue here and I will do that and put it on new pipe and reinstall it and I'll show you what it looks like reinstalled. Thanks. So this is my new gas valve with the new pipe fittings. I cleaned the th threads with a paper clip, the old sealant and reapplied the new sealant that I bought. You get it at any hardware store. Uh, I got mine at Amazon. This is a gas sealant. And then I cleaned it with a little bit of water and made sure it was dry. You just have to make sure that the uh, that when you unscrew the the pipes, you put one wrench on the chassis of the gas valve, and then you can use the other wrench, like that big wrench right there, to untighten it. In this case, for the new gas valve, you retighten it. So you see in the old gas valve, it's uh, it's using it has a square shaped uh, leverage point. So I remembered the position of how the gas valve is. Basically, this is pointing top. The burners are going to be at the bottom, and this is going to extend to the side to the main gas outlet. And I'll show you later on when I install it. So this is my uh, Carrier 58 PAV furnace. I removed the the gas valve, which is the middle. Basically, the left side goes through the, the inlet and all the way down to the the actual gas valve. If you see here, it's turned off. And if it's parallel to the pipe, it's on. If you twist it uh, in a right angle, it's off. And I tested it. I basically, you flip it on really quick and you can smell the natural gas. And so basically, I'm gonna go ahead. These are the burners. And I really tested everything I could to see uh, what's happening. I replaced this uh, limit switch right here. So I thought that was a problem and that didn't help. I also replaced the, uh, the igniter. It's kind of hidden right there, right here. Basically it glows bright red and then the gas vessels kick in and basically uh, light light the gas. But in my case, they, I didn't smell any gas for a few seconds and the whole furnace kept on recycling. And you can find your instructions online in this case. A lot of testing and instructions are on the bottom part of the furnace. And there's basically LED codes and then a component test where you have to wire a basically a uh, electrical wire from one point to the test. And it'll go through a series of tests to see if, the, if it's a board issue or not. I really took spent over two or three weeks just trying to figure this out. And I hope this is the resolution. And I'm gonna go and rehook it up and then show you 
Uh, just in case you don't know, you have to make sure you turn off the electricity on all this stuff. This is very dangerous, especially working with uh, gas and electricity. And uh, make sure you you uh, can smell any issues. They they said you can should really turn off the main gas valve. In this case, I didn't because I was very confident that there wasn't any leaks in the in the gas valve uh, in the main gas valve uh, main outlet. So I'm gonna go install right now. So here's the installation of my um, gas valve. You can see that the main pipe goes through the hole, and basically down to the, uh, the main gas line there. If I turn uh, parallel to the uh, to the wire, basically the gas will be coming in. And make sure you take pictures before you uninstall it, that you know where all the wires go. There's only two wires, one green, and it's grounded against the chassis. So, and another one's a uh, uh, blue wire. Can't really see it, but basically right there. And there's a switch for the valve to be off or on. So I left it on on. And basically, this hopefully this will solve the issue of like furnace uh, being able to ignite. And I also want to make sure that you have some uh, soap bubbles, basically water and dishwasher soap. And you want to basically spray at the points where the gas is tightened and to see if there's any bubbles that will appear. If there are any bubbles, I mean, there's a gas leak. And you need to retighten it more. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, test it out now. So I flipped the, uh, the main valve to be parallel with the tube, the pipe. So the gas is actually flowing in now. I'm waiting a while before I turn on just to make sure that there isn't any leaks. And I'm spraying some bubble solution on, dishwasher solution on to see if there's any bubbling. And I just want to see if I can smell anything. If I smell anything, I'm going to immediately turn off the gas valve and try to fix the issue. I'm so happy to hear that after replacing the gas valve, now the, the gas is being released and the heat furnace seems to be working fine now. Wow, that was a two, three week ordeal waiting for parts and I'm so happy that I identified the issue. And uh, finally we can have heat in our house.